Hey Gardenstead fans, it's Kimber. Usually you're joining me down in the garden where I'm introducing you to something new happening and exciting down in the garden. But today you're gonna join me here while I introduce you to a young up and coming gardener. His name is Christian, but you might know him as Cluck Cluck Moo Moo on Instagram. He is a 16 year old junior in high school, no less and he has fully embraced the gardening journey. And I had a chance today to talk to him. He is in New York and I am in Virginia, so we had a Zoom interaction today. And it was just wonderful to get to know him and see what is going on in his garden. And I wanted to share that with you guys today. We are thrilled to have you here and can't wait to hear about your gardening experience. So. Why don't we start off and how about you tell all of our Gardenstead fans just what got you interested in gardening? I've, I've always loved gardening since I was little. I've always had a garden, always gardened with my parents and my grandparents. Um, my love of gardening only intensified when I joined the agriculture program at my school. That's when I've really started learning more and more and really expanding my gardening at home and introducing all new techniques to my garden and starting with all new vegetables and different vegetables that I've learned about at school. And you are in New York. And yes, you're in, I'm in you know what zone you're in? Um, I'm, I actually don't. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's okay. That's, that's, it always slips my mind. I always research it and then it slips my mind. That's okay, that's fine. It's just interesting. We have viewers and community members that are all around the world. So not everyone even uses it since it's I'll actually research it. I have my laptop right here. Yeah, just look just it up. It. okay. So now being in New York, your gardening is very different from what my gardening is because I am in Virginia. I'm in zone 7A and I am very rural. I am out in the countryside and it's all farmland where I am. I have a 995 square foot garden in my backyard. Wow and nice. want to come next year. So it's kind of interesting to see what the difference is between the way that gardening is for you and how it is for me based on where we're living plus our age difference. So it's pretty yeah. unique. I'm usually one of the younger people in the gardening groups, but you've definitely beat me on that in high school still. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So tell me a little bit about your garden. Yes, so right now, um my garden is a little bit it's, it's empty right now because it's winter in new york um so i'm in garden um garden zone 7a so right now it's winter and i have nothing out there right now but when in spring it's pretty full i have all the all the basic plants um cucumbers kale all stuff like that um i have i use basic techniques so basic soil techniques um turning every month um fertilizing every single every single week um for all my plants with an organic fertilizer um yeah um, as usual, like everybody else. That sounds really good. And how is your garden? Is it, do you have raised beds? Do you have things in different types of containers? Yes. Yeah, so um, being an urban gardener, I used to do a lot, a lot of um, container gardening, but now I recently moved. So now I have a lot of, um, have a, a decent amount of um, yard space. So um, I, I would say I have like a eight by eight feet um, garden space. I, I plant directly in the ground. I put nutrients in the soil to make sure that it's adequate for my plants to sustain the long time, the long growing season. So I just plant directly in the ground. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. And how did your garden do this year? What was your visit, biggest success? Yeah, so my garden actually did very good this year. Um, the fertilizing really paid off for me this year. Um, I grew all types of vegetables. I love the basics. They're so great. Um, so that would be, in my garden, um, tomatoes, peppers, corn, kale, um, herbs, of course, all those vegetables. They did great. They performed astoundingly. Got so much fruit out of it. It was, it was really great. Oh, that sounds so, so that's what I, that, that's what I would consider a success. Yes, a success any year. I even consider a success when I have learned something. So even if one particular fruit or vegetable did not take off, I, I'm excited that I have learned something for the next year. So I don't think that learning actually stops, but what was your favorite of those five vegetables that you grew? So you just listened um, to I, more I, than that, but. Yeah. 
I, I would say that my favorite vegetable would be the tomato. It's so simple. So many varieties that you could choose from. You could go from more decorative tomatoes, the little plum tomatoes, or the little currant tomatoes that are tiny, tiny, or the big beefsteak tomatoes or the heirloom tomatoes. There's so many varieties, it's all so delicious. Um, plants grow vigorously, so easy to, to grow. Great for beginners, great for any gardener, urban gardener, a gardener in, in a rural area, great for containers, garden beds, directly in the ground. Tomatoes are definitely my favorite plant. And what, did, what type did you grow? I grew beefsteak, um, big boy tomatoes, and Roma tomatoes this year, oh, as, oh, nice. as well as cherry tomatoes. Yeah, that sounds good. I actually, I grew some big boys as well, and early girls, and Roma tomatoes, but I think next year I'm going to need to add in some cherry tomatoes. My friends over here growing them as well, and they just had so many this year, huge abundance of tomatoes, and I'm waiting and waiting for each of mine to get bigger and bigger, so definitely going to expand. Are there any other tomato varieties you might try next year? Yes, I want to expand more into the heirloom tomatoes with all the different shapes and colors. I Those really fascinate me a lot. Um, I also want to try more of the decorative tomatoes. So like um, plum tomatoes, like yellow plums, um, and the current tomatoes. Those are so, so small and adorable <laughs> as well. Yeah, I love all the color in the garden. That is a big thing for me this year. When everything started popping up, it was so much greenery, and I loved it. It was so vibrant, the different shades. But then it's like, okay, I need, I need more color in the garden. So I've been all about purple this year with purple beans and purple broccoli and trying to get as much color in as I can. What are your plans for next year's garden? Um, I actually have big plants expanding into um, way more um, species of plants. So one of my biggest plans for next year is um, lufa. I've had a huge fascination for growing loofah and I think that's really intriguing. So I, I wanna try growing loofah. Um, also Brussels sprouts are also interesting. They're a little bit more tricky and I'm up for the challenge next year. Um, expanding my corn varieties into more decorative. So popcorn varieties like the strawberry popcorn and the glass corn with all the different colors in it, that's super cool. So that's that's some of my plans for next year. As, as long as the, as as well as the basics as well. Um, having the basic tomatoes and the eggplants and kale and all of that good stuff as well with the really cool tomatoes and yes, uh, other great. varieties of plants. So are you gonna have to expand your garden since you want to expand what you're doing or are you just gonna switch out? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna try and switch out and also expand. I have some some more space to expand. So I wanna try some, um, some companion planting. So mm -hmm. corn with beans um, on the, like, growing on the bean on the corn stalks that's also really cool to, uh, and a cool technique to implement into gardens so I'm going to start trying some companion planting and um, seeing if I could fit more plants into my garden like that. Yeah definitely companion planting is the way to go so finding what works best together and yeah definitely so three sisters gardening there you've got the first two of that for your beans and your corn you get some squash in there as well and uh, zucchini either one and yeah you'll have that. A trio right there. So that sounds good. Sounds like very exciting time in the garden next year. And how does that Definitely. fit in with schoolwork and gardening? Well, uh, I see gardening as it's not a chore for me at all. It's super fun. Um, I'm eager, always eager to go out to the garden, water my plants, look after them, um, see what, what new fruits are growing, what new vegetables, all of that good stuff. Um, so it could be difficult at times because you need to do maintenance after schoolwork or um, after my job sometimes. So it, I really, I find a way to balance it, but it's not that hard because I, I really enjoy gardening. So, And that's what it is. It's the love of gardening that really shines through. I love it. And what would you say to other young uh, people out there that are considering starting a garden? Any advice for them? Yes, of course. Um, I would say to, to never give up. It sounds kind of cliche, but it's so true. Um, so sometimes in your garden, you're going to have a plant that didn't do well for you, that didn't give you the harvest that you wanted, but you just want to keep going. Make friends with new gardeners also um, to learn new techniques, new tricks, and always keep going with that one plant that, that you didn't find success in. Keep going. Um, upgrade your techniques um, and do more stuff that makes you happy in your garden and never give up always keep going. I love it. That sounds so good and so promising and I hope that we have a lot more young gardeners 
join Gardenstead and we get to be a part of your adventure as well. I love it. Where do you see your gardening going in the future? Well, my dream is to have a farm. I really want a farm um, when I grow up. So I, I want to expand it, um, actually have opportunities for other people that never tried it. So um, start community gardens on my property um, in the future. So people that have never experienced it or are in urban settings or just want some fun and don't have the space for it um, with gardening, they could go onto my property um, free of charge just so they could plant whatever they want, have fun, experience, grow techniques. Um, yeah. That that's one of my big cool. plans in the future. And would that still be in New York or would you have to go somewhere else? Yeah, so um, I would love to do it in New York because um, there are lots of um, community gardens right now. But um, another place I'm, I'm actually planning to move in two years to Florida. So that's also one of, there's way more space out there in Florida. Um, lots of agriculture out there too. So yeah. Absolutely. Yes, I lived in Florida for a good number of years, so that is a different growing environment as well. So that'll be that'll be a unique challenge for you once you get down there. The soil is completely different, so mm -hmm. different zone and everything, and a much longer growing season, which is very nice. Definitely keep it going. I love it. I am so excited to follow you on social media and see how your gardening you. journey has gone over the year, and I can't wait to see what it does next year. Do you want to tell everybody out there in Gardenstead world how they can follow you on social media and see more? Yes. So all of you guys could follow me on social media. I'm at Clefwick Mumu on Instagram and Facebook. I have my blog page at Clefwick Mumu as well. The link is in my bio on my Instagram. I'm going to um, launch my new or um, put my new blog post live soon about house plants. I'm actually going to have a workshop on December 16th. Um, the Ultimate Starter Guide for Beginners um, on House Plants. So you guys could attend that. Um, partnered with Green Thumbs Grow and YC Parks. So you could find the link to that in my bio as well. Yay, I love it. That is awesome. I can't wait to see what happens with your gardening adventure. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Thank you.